Ever consider how a crocodile might save a man's life? Although it may sound surprising, a man came into contact with a crocodile, and this is exactly what happened. Although crocodiles are frequently considered vicious predators, this particular crocodile was a hero. In the beginning, Ambo Gelatin led a quiet life, as most fishermen do. But after one close encounter at sea with a vicious animal, everything changed for him. Every morning, Ambo went to an ancient wooden fishing boat near the docks in Kalimantan to hunt fishes and sell them in the market. He was from Kalimantan and had lived in the ocean for half his life. To support his infant son's booty, he had to work. Ambo's objective was to pay for booty to attend elementary school, and the boatloads of fish he collected made that possible. He didn't want booty to become a fisherman like him. Ambo worked alone. He had to prepare the baits and the fishing lines and get his boat out to sea each morning, which was not an easy task. He lived next to a river and kept his small boat close by. He had to do the same thing every day, navigate through a tight river for 10 minutes until the river spilled into a calm portion of the sea. He felt at peace as he paddled toward one of his favorite spots one quiet morning. As he sat at his bow paddle, the sun was still hidden behind the horizon. Before any other fisherman could make it, he was the first there. The man would not have gotten into his boat that day if he had known what lay ahead. His father was raised on the Bond Tang Islands, which had, throughout his lifetime, been transformed into a small city. Ambo grew up on the Bond Tang Islands, where he watched them transform into a small town as the years passed. As a boy, he and his father would sit on a boat and never see anyone else for hours. His eyes were drawn to big boats in the distance that were shipping coal and materials off the island. There was more money for the local economy, but the river was more polluted. The city had changed a lot, but Ambo tried to ignore it. Through the fish and the animals that lived in the sea, Ambo was still connected to his hometown. Even on his days off, he swims near the reef and looks for new fish. He found that the most surprising animals came to you when you weren't even looking. After Ambo stopped his boat and got his line set up, he was ready to put his feet up and watch the sunrise. But he didn't have much time to relax. There was something in the water about to change his life. One of his fishing lines jolted suddenly to the left. Ambo peered over the boat's side and thought it must have been a big fish. But he saw the shadow of something passing under the ship that looked too pointy and large for a fish. As the shadow tugged on the fishing line, his boat was rocking from side to side as he tried to study it. It did not take long before a gigantic green body jumped out of the water and lunged towards him as he wanted to check it. He could not grasp it in time. His boat was rocking from side to side. Between the waves of water, both noticed that it had a sharp, angular teeth, and even its skin appeared angular. The man understood it to be a crocodile. Crocodiles had previously been spotted in shallower water, but never so far from the marsh. Ambo also observed that it was only a crocodile of maybe three feet or one meter in length, and not a fully-fledged one. He saw a vast plastic bag hooked in its mouth as it twisted and turned in the water. As the animal attempted to open its jaw, he tried to remove the bag from its mouth. He noticed it was choking. While the tiny fisherman struggled with the predator, the two traveled above and below the sea. But Ambo had grown strong from dragging his boat to the river. The crocodile was saved from certain death after only a short period when he removed the plastic from its jaws. He then used his feet to drive the crocodile away, buying himself just enough time to swim back to the boat. The crocodile faced Ambo and they both stopped briefly before the reptile hurriedly swam away. Ambo couldn't believe what had happened, as he stepped back into his boat and wrung dry his damp clothes. He took some time to settle down, because his adrenaline was racing, yet the day was far from done, and things were about to get stranger. Later, as Ambo was making his way back to the river, in the wake of his boat, he heard some splashing. When he turned around, he was surprised to see the crocodile again on his bow. He wasn't sure if he was in danger, he increased his speed, but the crocodile rapidly caught up with him and slowly swam beside the boat. Ambo noticed that she may have been trying to play with him, as she gently bumped the boat. As a result, Ambo threw her a fish that he had just caught. The crocodile snatched it up and followed the ship till Ambo got close to his house. His wife screamed to him from the riverside, where she was by chance. Be cautious, she said hastily. Ambo reassured her that it was safe, even though a crocodile was nearby. She didn't trust him until he docked the boat, and the crocodile calmly swam up to her new friend Ambo and handed her another fish. The crocodile continued to swim in the river for a short while before leaving. That was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but the story still needed to be done. Upon Bo's wife's return from a few years away, she had some excellent news. When his wife called, he had just taken his son on a fishing trip outside town. She told him that something spectacular had happened. 
The old crocodile was back, and she appeared to be seeking Ambo. While he wasn't around, his wife fed the crocodile, as did their neighbours, to whom they had previously told the tale. The crocodile was back there when Ambo arrived home the following morning. They met in a shallow water section, and the crocodile let Ambo approach up close. The crocodile was more significant than he had initially thought. She had developed into a mature crocodile, measuring 7 meters or 23 feet from head to tail. Nonetheless, the amount of love for Ambo remained constant. The animal recalled how he had saved her life on that fateful day all those years prior. Ever since she came back, Ambo had named the crocodile Riska. She swims home, seeking him and something to eat. But Ambo does the most unexpected thing when she doesn't come. He launches his boat and begins scouring the river for her, just like any pet owner would if their dog or cat went missing. He looks around in the water until he finds her. On rare occasions, he gives her fish or even three hens to feed. After she's finished, she swims away. This also pleases Ambo, and he will always remember to take care of his friend. Ambo would make arrangements for friends or neighbours to drop over and give the crocodile food, even if he had to travel for work. In this manner, even if Ambo wasn't present to personally care for her, she would never be hungry. Throughout the years, both sons developed a close bond with the crocodile, and one of their favourite activities was feeding it with their father. Riska prefers fish, but she occasionally serves chicken or beef. The crocodile's tail has inspired Booty to change. He began picking up the trash in the river once a week and began to think about running for office to curb pollution from the local shipping port. For the following 20 years, the crocodile continued to stop by Amber's house. She occasionally followed his boat through the river, just like she had done on the first day. Ambo would do everything he could to help the crocodile get healthy if she was hurt. Eventually, he called a vet down to the river, but the vet was too scared to get closer to him. But he told him what to do and gave him some medicine, since no one had ever thought such a crocodile could trust a person so much. Bo proved them wrong with his friendship with Riska. Would you ever have imagined that a human and a crocodile could be best friends? Do you remember this story if you did not hear about it? What is your favourite part of the story? Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Come on, come on, come on. Coming out of the depth. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sini putri, naik naik ya. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah, kita naik sini nak, ayo sini. Yeah, ikut bapa. Yeah. <laughs>